Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. We're now on episode 301 of this series and today we're going to be checking out the final system that we didn't cover in the episode 300 stream as this one needs to be filmed in an older version of the game. So as you can see we're in update 33 um, currently which is now seven months old. Pretty crazy how time flies. Um, but yeah, we're going to be checking out the final system that we didn't cover. But before we get into that, guys, just a quick notice as well is the upload chat in my Discord server is now open. If you'd like to submit your own systems, please be advised, though, there are some requirements that will need to be met when you upload your systems. All the details are in my Discord server for that as well, if you wish to um, upload. But without further ado, let's get into this. So workshop it should be this system here this is the Holas system this is submitted by nick 118 so a massive thank you to them for sending in their system but without further ado let's hold straight into this guy here we are right from nick game and there we go we're coming in oh taking it's time to load okay right what have we got oh hello okay right orbits on let's have a look okay Holas. looking pretty cool right so welcome to the Holas system a single star system with eight confirmed planets and four dwarf planets in which there are many moons to visit. The most notable planet goes by the name of uh, Vigor. Um, it's a habitable world that is controlled by civilization that is soon to plan to visit the other objects in the system. For some more details. Each planet is noted for their characteristics such as Vigor being habitable with a, well, Guru? Joe? Joe? I'm not how you sorry, I would say that, but being basically far. Each moon does have their appearances with one, um, with each one. Some are very small asteroids and others are large and massive spherical moons. Two out of the eight planets do not, however, have a moon or two due to their pro close proximity to the star, which is normal at this point. Um, and any planet that is or that is Virgo and beyond does not have at least one uh, more are the only ones that weren't. Or were able to at least sustain their moon system in some form of way. So please read. Hello guys, I hope you all enjoyed the system. As it is one of the very few old systems I had private oh, I had privately prior to the remake of it. There's old some returning names, but I've used along with some new names. For any curiosity about the MO situation, it means minor object. Oh yeah, I've known people use this before, haven't they? Um, at, um, at this point, I'm pretty sure that you do end up checking these systems and we all know and please know any of the customized objects I've made in this system are made by me. And if you want to use them, please contact on this. I said credit him if you want to use them, if you want to download this for yourself. Okay, cool. All right. Let's get into this. So we're free to explore. There's no description for any individual objects. So let's go and have a look at what we have here. So the star itself, a little smaller than the sun, as we can see in mass, radius, uh, luminosity as well. So it's not as powerful as the sun on this level. Um, first of the planets here, we have got Verret. So we can see it's quite hot rock, 445 degrees. Looking pretty, uh, pretty warm there. Got an atmosphere as well. Okay. Next up, we got Ralador. Over here, so we can see another hot rock, kind of your Mercury counterpart in this system, as we can see here. Looks like it's got the Moon and Mercury textures combined, possibly there. Cool. Next up, we've got a Vega over here. So this is the habitable world. It's at minus 74 on the average, though, so not the warmest of worlds, but the hottest points do go into positive 40 degrees. So it has got some warmer regions. Very little uh, regions are, as we can see, only the white area is positive temperature. Even the red area, that's basically zero or less so a very very interesting one there's only a few points that are warm on it okay then the moons here we are there's one there and then phaeton over here the second of the moons okay cool moving on next up we have got this one over here pavadora okay looking good also very cold Minus 137 on the average here. And it's got one minor moon, as we can see here. Okay. Next up, we're heading to Julia, by the looks of it. Oh, gas giant. Oh, got a lot of cool customization here. Okay. Oh, looking pretty clean as well. Nice. Oh, got an interesting north and south pole, though. Look at those very dark areas. And I wonder what that's all about. Got a little eclipse going on at the moment. Very similar to custom Saturns I've seen, color-wise. Very similar to a Saturn. Okay, and there's a dark spot at the top. So the South Pole one is huge compared to the North Pole one there. And it's got a lot of minor moons, as we can see. A huge amount of them close in there. Onto the larger moons, as we can see here. So there you go. So we've got that one. Next moon over here. 
looking good. More of a moon looking object there. Okay. Mazori over here. Looks like a lot of moon textures um, from first glance. Uh, we've got Malora yeah. Over here, this one's got a very uh, interesting look. Okay, that was a lot less craters on that one. Luzido over here. Very dark. It looks like it's got a Mimus texture looking pretty cool. Okay. Cool. And the rest are all miners, as we can see, all the minor moons. So we'll skip over those. So next up, we're heading to um, Old Zero here. Lots of minor moons around this guy as well. Again, a very nice uh, banded object, as we can see. A little more um, enhanced on the colours, though, compared to the previous one. Some very uh, deep red shades in there. Okay. Looking good. So on to the moons. Move us over here. Cool. Lazoria. So we've got a lot of uh, the common sort of uh, icy cold moons, as we can see. The grey colour theme. Okay, which is more of a realistic sense if you think about it, because not every moon is going to be having unique features. Uh, next up over here, we've got a Titan-like moon by the looks of things. Look underneath the atmosphere there, let's have a look. There you go. So that's probably a Titan equivalent in the system there. Very nice. Uh, and I believe that is all of it for the major moons. The rest, there's a lot of minor moons in orbit here, as we can see. Okay. Next up, we've got uh, Kaku over here. Kakuyu. This one's tilted on its side, as we can see here. So there's your Uranus kind of uh, equivalent. It's got its, its moon's orbit on the normal axis, though. Okay. So here we are, moons. Medoria. A lot of uh, moons ending in, like, Rhea. Uh, Vermis over here. Cool. And a lot more minor moons, okay. So loads of minor moves. Next up, we've got Ander over here. Nice gas giant. So there's your more Neptune y looking world. Very nice band design on this guy, though. I do like that. Yeah. Again, there's a different kind of north and south pole. It's kind of like that Saturn gas giant we saw earlier. It's a very nice mix of blue in there. I really do like that. That's a nice looking world. Looking good. Very, very nice. So that's also got its own minor moons. Then we're on to its bigger moons, Lenorius here. Looking good. We've got Alorica over here, looking good. Rivoria, so another moon ending in Rhea, okay. Then we've got Cavanoria, so another Rhea ending there. So a lot, of, a lot of a trend there with the moon names. Okay, cool. And then the rest are minor moons, alrighty. Next up, we got Pavor over here. So this would be, I'm guessing these are dwarf planets now. Over there, looking good. Morida. Okay, so there's those guys. Then we've got Blistorius over here. Got a little ring around it, very dark here. No more sunlight. How far are we from the star anyway? 226 AU, I'm not surprised there's no light at this distance. Okay. Then we've got Avadoria over there. Did we already check that one? Oh, can I select it? Come on. So it's like a dark reddish one. So there's your Sedna kind of light world there, as we can see. Very dark in colour. And then lastly, we've got Jur over here. So there is your, I'm guessing, a Planet Nine equivalent over here. So completely darkness, very far out. And there is its so 173 AU is its semi-major axis there. So there you go. So quite a uh, far distance here. So you can see some relations to the solar system itself with the planets. So you've got your Jupiter, Saturn, light worlds. You've got your Uranus. And you, can, you can kind of see by the colours immediately that it's definitely going off the solar system's kind of um, looks. So we've obviously got the, uh, the Jupiter and Saturn. I mean, I'd probably describe this one here as the more Jupiter looking of the two. This one here to me is more of a Saturn colour scheme. With the lighter, paler colours, it doesn't have the big deep bands like Jupiter in theory has. These ones are very more, a lot more red than Jupiter's ones. Also, you've got your Uranus tilted inside, you've got your Neptune. That's a beautiful looking... I'm going to... I may keep a copy of that, actually. That would be good to use in the system at some point, if you don't mind. But yeah, that is a... Um, that's a very nice looking world. I really do like that. That's a nice looking ice giant. We've got the Planet Nine looking object. Then you've got your Earth. You've got your hotter 
Well, this was actually the closest planet to the star, so the um, the closest object to Venus probably would be this. And then it doesn't really seem like there was a Mercury or a Mars equivalent. So you had your Earth-like, you had your more Venus-y looking world, even though it hasn't got a thick atmosphere. And then there isn't really anything that reflects Mercury or Mars, I guess. I mean, there was like a hot... Actually, there was kind of a Mercury-like world. Actually, let's just go back to the inner solar system quickly, because there was... Um, the second planet from the star was basically your Mercury. This world here effectively is your Mercury. So what world is any world that reflects Mars then? Let's have a look. Was it, I'm guessing maybe this one? See, not really, because it doesn't really have an atmosphere or it's red colour. So, I mean, there is no Mars equivalent in this system, really. And I wouldn't really say that the other one's a Venus equivalent. It's more of just a hot rock um, than a Venus equivalent. It has a little atmosphere, but it's not really too much. So, yeah, only really an Earth, uh, Earth-like in the um, inner solar system. So the gas giants kind of reflect our own solar system. But for the inner system, it's only really the Earth-like one that has any resemblance to the Earth. And then the other inner planets don't really have any... Uh, I mean, obviously, you've got the Mercury representation. But there's definitely no Venus or Mars equivalent here. I mean, this one would be the closest to a Venus. But I wouldn't really describe it as one. Its atmosphere is nowhere near as thick as it would be for a Venus. I mean, if it was going to be a Venus, it would need to be more like that. But, um, yeah, there you go. So that does it for this system. So similar to our own solar system, but then again, not so much. But yeah, there you go. So again, this world, though, it's a little too far from the star to really get any warmth. It needs to be a lot closer to be an Earth. So maybe this is kind of like a mix between an Earth and a Mars together in a way then. But um, there we are. With that all said and done, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Nick118, for sending this system in. Appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, let us know what you think down below in the comments of this system. And yeah, like I said, if you'd like to submit your own systems, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload it in there. But remember that to meet those requirements, all, the, all those rules are in the chat there if you'd like to do it. But anyways, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.